Betty Nesmith Graham. Howdy, guys and gals, and thank you all so much for the chance to appear on the program. I'm afraid my invention may seem a little old-fashioned today, but in the 1950s it was revolutionary. Back then I worked as a secretary at a big bank in Dallas, Texas, which also happens to be the town where I was born on March 23, 1924. Of course, we didn't have computers and printers in those days. All our letters and business documents were typed on typewriters. You've seen typewriters, haven't you? Oh gosh, maybe not. You're all so young. Anyway, we had the darndest time if we typed even one letter wrong. A pencil eraser doesn't work on typewriter ink. No eraser does. Believe me, I tried lots of them. The upshot was, if you made a mistake, you had to go back to the beginning and start again. Can you imagine? Then, one December, I was painting holiday snowflakes on the bank windows when it suddenly hit me. Painters don't erase their mistakes, they paint over them. Maybe the same idea would work for fixing typing mistakes. So I mixed up a batch of quick drying paint that matched the color of the bank's typing paper and put it in a bottle with a tiny little paintbrush. The next day at work when I made a mistake in my typing, I just painted over the wrong letters and then typed the correct ones over the paint after it dried. Soon all the secretaries at the bank were asking for my magical mistake out. A chemistry teacher at the local high school helped me improve the formula and all of a sudden I was selling my invention, now called liquid paper, all over the world. I ran my own company, bringing a rarely seen feminine touch to the business world. For instance, it was almost unheard of in the 1970s for a company to have a child care center as mine did. I was unstoppable and one of the most successful women in business. My company sold for nearly $15 million in 1979, so you little pups should really keep your eyes open for problems to solve and keep your minds open for all kinds of different ways to solve them. You never know what you'll think up.